Okay guys, welcome back to Kuma Style Reviews. We're taking a look at the Sinnoh Ryobot Mazinger Z. So this is the third in the Mazinger family lineup. They started with uh, Ryobot Mazinkaiser. I think that was like 2014, 2015. And then the Grindizer. This just came out last year, I believe, 2018. And it might have even come out earlier this year. I'm not exactly sure. I'm thinking last year, but I don't know. But... Now, this month, December 2019, Mazinger Z. So, throw in the trio, just waiting for Great Mazinger, and finishing it off. Now, size-wise, this shares the exact same body as the Grindizer. So, default height for it is six and a half, just over six and a half inches tall there. Alright, again, same height as the Grindizer, but Grindizer comes with the armor and stuff like that, so he's automatically taller. Um, this actually can wear the Spazer, or Spazer, when it's in its armor form. I believe it can go ahead and ride the Spazer too when it's like in the UFO mode. Um, we'll take pictures of that and put them on the Rin review on kumstyle.com, but we're not going to do all that in the review. Just know that since they do share the same body, the pieces are interchangeable. Alright? The Mazinkaiser are here. He's significantly taller because he doesn't have any of the gimmicks or anything like that. He is seven and a half inches tall. So, knocking out the comparison with the other two right there, giving you guys a visual of the three together. Really cool stuff. It's a really good look of them together. And now let's go ahead and get on reviewing Mazinger. Before we get into Mazinger himself or dig into him, just going over what comes in the box. So this is called the Dynamic Scrander per the product listing. Now these appendages, they're actually arms. They do come off as well as the blades. We'll go over that in full in a bit. We just wanted to show you that. And then over here, make sure we're focused. A variety of hands, an alternate cockpit cover for the Spacer. This is a stand adapter for Mazinger without the Scrander attached. All right, his forearm blades there. And then this is an alternate piece that holds him up when he has the Scrander attached. All right, and there is an adapter, a separate adapter for Mazinger with the Scrander attached. So again, box contents. Okay, so while I'm giving you guys a roundabout, I just wanted to say that Everybody knows what this looks like. Everybody knows the size. Just, yeah, it's a definitely a different take on Mazinger. You either like it or you don't. Personally, not my first choice. Looks a lot better in hand, but, you know, it, it's just one of those things to where if the comments are full of, I don't like this look on Mazinger, I'm probably going to delete 90% of them or whatever because it's like you knew you didn't like it coming into this so I come here to just literally say that and not give any feedback on this as a product or anything you know because that's what this review is about pictures can show you what it looked like so one thing I wanted to show you guys as well it's powder All right. There you guys go. In fact, I'll put it on the ground here. Pretty neat stuff. And what's extra cool is that it actually holds on to his head with a magnet. Okay, good amount of detailing, good paint job. I dig it. And just noting on what I said at the beginning, it's not knocking anybody for not liking it. It's just one of those things to where it's kind of trivial to the purpose of what I'm doing here. All right, looking at the articulation. So there's a ball joint where the head meets the neck. So articulation there. You saw the downward movement, really good downward movement. Upwards, okay. But then there's another, I believe it's a ball joint in there. I'm not sure. But there's a lot of front and back swing. So that's the back swing. 
and that makes up for his lack of you know movement there and then a little bit more downward but not really the downwards taken care of by the ball joint and then the back is mostly where the neck meets the clavicle all right shoulders now these actually move which is impressive I like that you can pull them out if you want but it's kind of nice to have an option there because there's a lot of movement on this mold shoulders so you can bring them up you can bring them down you can bring them in and out that butterfly these detach they hold on tight but this is just really tight moving it around so there's that and you can actually bring it up if you want to bring it back around then shoulder swing all right and that actually comes off because he does the rocket punch of course so all of them do now bicep swivel okay and since that plugs in with the peg technically the forearm has swivel as well but line it up correctly I'll show you guys here if you want to take full advantage there's a little square there in the front it's hard to see because it's all black but that's how you know you have space for the double jointed elbows so there's one inside of the bicep and then another inside of the forearm there so plenty of movement okay. now the wrist there is a swivel at like the wrist itself it has its own joint piece here which is really neat and then the hand can turn waist All right. not any movement in that itself the waist itself when it comes to the side to side tilt it's all in this upper portion not really well there is it was just really tight all right Grindizer likely had that too but then again it's been a year so all right so not much but then the chest takes it further so cool stuff but it was kind of seized there yeah glad I found out that while I'm reviewing all right so back bend lots of back bend and then ab crunch so you got it on the waist itself and then this piece too I don't know if I've ever seen a piece quite do that to where the chest damner meets the crotch but yeah it has a lot of ab crunch And for everything that, you know, I don't like as much about this aesthetic versus the Mazenkaiser, man, this makes so many improvements in terms of just articulation, firmness in the joints and things like that. It's crazy. I don't like the look as much, but it's such, this body mold is so much better just in terms of play and posing and things like that. So kicking this forward, you see the skirt piece right there moved. Okay, so way forward. All right. And we'll go ahead and show off the uh, knee bend there too. Let's see if we can get tricky and balance them on one foot. Yeah, we can. So that's what we do. Not a lot of back hip swing. Unfortunately, this uh, back area, the butt, nothing in here moves, separates. All right. Thigh swivel, 360. Single jointed knees, but goes all the way through. So. There's a piece in here. It actually, if you look, separates and goes into itself. You know, Sentinel stuff is pricey. Not denying that, but it's little stuff, man. There are videos. You guys should check out the Sentinel Facebook page. They post videos sometimes of like the internals of these things, and there's so many moving parts. And I know everybody's not into that. Everybody doesn't need it, but it's what they come with. And of course it drives the price up. All right. So big old ball joints here for the ankles. And now let's look at the foot. The foot still goes back and then goes forward. 
Uh, no separation in the front of the foot. It's all one single piece down there. All right, so just, I don't know, something quick. Put that forward. There we go. Nice little wall compose. Something simple. And unlike Grindizer, no LEDs or anything like that in here. So none of the electronic gimmicks. Okay, and just taking a look at the forearm blades. The hands just pop on and off the peg. Simple stuff. Then it comes with four blade pieces, all the same. And when it comes to how to attach them, there's like a short end and a long end. The long end is pretty blatant that it's the bottom. Just looking at them, but there you go. And that's how those look. Nice. Kind of gunmetal, a little darker than silver. Okay, and taking a look at the dynamic scrander before getting it all attached and everything like that. I'm trying to make sure it's as centered as possible on this thing. Really cool look to it. Now, while I've got it on the back side here, these come out. And these pieces are the actual arms. So, make sure I'm focused there. It's got joints here. One joint, two joint. No joints in the forearm or anything like that. But the forearms can come off. As well as these thrusters here. All right. Everything's nice and tight too, which is awesome. So a lot to play there. So it borrows this not so loosely from the Shin Mazinger backpack and the Shin Mazinger was able to use these kind of appendages to turn into a giant fist as well really cool stuff this doesn't do that but you know for what it's worth the Scrander is really neat now these blades again they come off as well there are pegs right there one peg holes in there and there are also peg endings here so that you could replace Mazinger's fists with them. You could put them on the ends of these as well. So we'll do some mixing up and stuff like that. It's cool stuff. All right, now taking a look at the articulation and the wings of this guy here. So there are two areas that extend. Oh, and before I forget, these do come off as well. So you could have it completely bare. No appendages or anything like that at all, if you want. So, joint right here, so the wings move up. Quite a bit down, all right? And then, that's a swivel there. Nice and tight too, all right? A bend there, as well as another bend there. And these two end pieces of the wings, they do rotate outward as well. See how that side's a lot more stable? It's because these parts are separated. If you click them back, it's just as stable. So, all right, go ahead and that back in, that press back in. And I'm just doing tip to tip here. them extended outwards put that there it's approximately hmm almost 19 inches wide just short it looks like so really really wide cool stuff 
And, like I showed you guys at the beginning, there is an alternate cockpit. The way you attach that, I might need my I need my spudger, I don't think I do. You take that, and then there's an adapter piece. Goes in right there. And then this whoop, goes on top of that. So, for me, what I don't understand is, why didn't they just have this attached the same way that the other cockpit cover piece does in the first place, instead of doing all the adapting and stuff like that? Kind of weird, but, you know, I guess whatever. Just giving you guys a view with that alternate cover on. Pretty cool stuff. Now let's go ahead and get it all put together, finish this review up. Alright, so... Two pieces come off. Come off of this back side here. So we got this piece up top, and I might have to find my spudger here. In fact, I'm actually going to because I know it's not that crazy tight. Haha. -ha. It's one of his blades. Alright, so that piece comes off. As well as that piece there. So you got one, you got two. So, both of these need to be utilized for the scrander, and only one of them needs to be utilized for him to be on a stand. So we'll look at the stand first. All right. And again, this is him without the scrander. The scrander is the other adapter. Now on the stand piece here, it's the same one that was holding up the scrander by itself. The scrander doesn't need an adapter, it just it has a hole on the bottom side that just plugs right into it. Now there are three joint pieces here. You can use a screwdriver, just a Phillips head, to tighten them up if need be. But they come actually really tight on their own, as you can see. I haven't done anything to it. But just... Something basic. All right, pretty cool stuff. Or if you're not comfortable with them standing on someone, it's a pretty stable toy. I mean, you can always use it to make sure he just plain stays in place. And there's nothing wrong with that either. Alright, so you can rotate this, it is just a peg-in, and you see it came unattached, so... But, you know, just adjust as you will. And see, that fits in plenty tight. So, it's especially cool because this bottom piece comes out. I don't know if I need to push through or... And of course I turn around and my spudger's right behind me, so yeah, gotta love it. Alright, but popping that out. And now, we can go ahead and get the big stand in. Boom. And we'll go ahead and place that other adapter on it since we know we're going to need that anyway. For now, we'll get that out of the way. Now, attaching the scrander, there are two pieces that pull out. One's at the bottom here. Just use my spudger and not be bothered since it's right here. Let's see if starting with the top first helps. All right. As you can see, everything goes back into the scrander when you're not using it plenty tight. I don't know what the trick was I used. I did it fine with my hand, I believe, the first time I pulled it out. So, mm hmm. There we go. So I have to get it from the right angle. 
All right, so we got that. Let's see if I can zoom in here. All right, one part clips, one part pegs. Back of the figure. Focus. And get part clipped. Let's see if we can focus that for you. Boom. And then the other part peg. And make sure you've got it pegged all the way in. All right. Because it definitely helps. All right. Now zooming out. This dude is primed and ready. So you see a lot of hard garble here. Wings really wide. And you can display them like that if you want. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of just the wings plain spread out look um so i'm gonna do some finagling i'm actually gonna pull this out so i can here go here bring that down a bit all right put his head up he looks depressed pull that out pull that out I'm going to angle these down a little bit more. There we go. Make sure we're focused. Boom. And I love the design. I love that it looks like his breastplates as well. All right, got the red underneath then. Turn him around. You see he stands fine with the backpack on, whether the wings are extended, whether they're down. All right, so before I get going on this, and you'll see more pictures of the different wing looks and things like that, on kumasal.com that pictorial per usual but he can do kind of like that scythe here or even wing zero and you can bring him around and I don't want to knock on the breastplate or anything like that well I guess I literally did but it stays on just fine I'm just bumping around or whatever trying to work my arms around the camera and whatnot But it does take a little bit of finagling, finesse, to get these perfectly lined up since there's no like knocking or anything like that. But he has a shield mode too. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, and you can see for the sake of cleaning it up a little bit, just the silhouette, I rotated the swords like one up, one down on each side. So you can do whatever you want with that, like I said. Um, Let's go ahead and actually get these pulled off. Okay. Get the wings back out. And I am just not giving that breastplate respect. Okay. Pull my hand out. Oh. And I hate covering the figure up with my hands on camera like this, but it's kind of what it is right now. Alright, so there's that. With the blades. Now let's take a look at these back appendages too. So, what we'll do is take the outside ones. And you, I'm a big fan of symmetry unless a bot is kind of asymmetrical by design, things like that. So I'm doing, bringing these back. Okay. All 
And it's just a double hinge. I'm bringing these around as well. All right, boom, 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 boom. Let's see if I can zoom out a bit, yeah. All right, so you have so many options now. Um, these also have the pieces on the side, the indentations for the blades. So if you want to go there with them, you can. This one I think I put on backwards, I did. Boom, okay. And just so you know the end game, we're kind of just getting it configured and then we're gonna put it on the stand. Close this bad boy out. All right, let's see what we wanna do. All right. Pick a hand on there. Now, I would, the other hands are kind of just, uh, that really doesn't look too imposing. I mean, he's not going to take these arms from behind and karate chop them, but maybe the fists will work a little bit better, so. Well. Okay. Then. Man, that thruster just flew out of my room. I had to run and get that thing before our dog got to it. Right, so see what we're working with. All right, get that up. So no, not exactly turning into a giant fist, which is awesome. But that's pretty damn cool in its own right. Now. Showing you guys how this attaches. There's a lot of dark underneath here and it's hard to see. So I think I'm gonna opt out of trying to zoom in and do the connection on camera, but rather get it connected off and show you what it looks like. But the connection isn't hard. That hinge with the two pieces that plugs has a peg hole as well as kind of two spaces in there. You can see it's kind of a focus there. Kind of a U, thick U. So that just pegs into that part, the piece that latches onto the from the Scrander onto the Mazinger. And I think I found a gap where I can try my hardest at least to show you guys how this plugs in. Alright, so you see right in there. That's where it plugs in. Alright. Now zooming out. Boom. Okay. Of course we don't want him looking downward, so what we're gonna do is take that. Boom, okay. We're already a big step ahead of where we were. <laughs> so I always like putting one leg up because if you're jumping, you're jumping with one of your legs. Get these out a little bit. Okay. Put that back. Put that down. Kind of adjusting and playing. That's the fun of it. So boom. And then we've still got these two. Two blades, so do something with them. See how they look pointed outwards. Let's try that. All 
Alright. And I like my downward views. I do, I do, I do. I want that kind of red back. Same with the other side. Yeah, he's mean. Alright, I dig it. I dig it. Let me know what you guys think of this pose and stuff like that in the comments as well. Compliments are always welcome. And if you don't like it, let me know too. I'll try to work. Critiques are welcome too, I guess. But, alright, there we go. This has been Sinnoh, the Ryabout line, Mazinger Z. So, it's kind of the Mazinger that absolutely no one asked for. Like that meme where it's like, no one, colon, and then Sinnoh, a picture of this Mazinger. That's what it could be. But at the same time, no, it wouldn't have been my first, second, or maybe even third choice for a, I guess, aesthetic on the base Mazinger. But it looks a lot better in hand. And then this is probably the most fun I've ever had with a Mazinger toy. It's extremely creative. And where the aesthetic is definitely different, I don't know if this will grow on me. I might absolutely just knock down love it in a year. It, the creativity with the scrander and things like that, just like with the spacer on the grandizer, it's above and beyond. Like, I will say that right now, even off the bat, this, I think only the future models EX Goken, just because those are just big, beautiful hunks of die cast like everything about them is just 10 10 10 10 10 but even those like they're not as playable as this this might be my favorite mazinger toy even if it's not my favorite to just stare at like the future it's definitely second favorite at least so i think they knocked it out of the park with this thing i am gonna go on the on the end that i didn't think i'd end at at all but yeah this has really grown on me really 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 fast i can't wait to shoot the gallery for this guy as you guys saw it's just stable it's articulated as hell and it's fun like there are so many options with the scrander and things like that i will say without the scrander if it was just this base mazinger probably played him meh but it's not that it's all of this so this is what you get and Show me your creations and stuff like that too. Send me pictures on the Facebook page and all that stuff. I'll be glad to share them out to the public, man. I'm sure you guys have much more creative ideas than me. Anyway, this has been another Kuma Sour Review. Thank you as always for your support. Merry Christmas Eve. This is actually going up on Christmas Eve. Unless something drastically wrong happens. Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And all of that good stuff. I hope you and your families are having a happy holiday. And I'll see you on the other side.